Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. <clears throat> I'm talking to you guys today about how woman, woman, uh, woman magnetism is unavoidable on semen retention. Woman magnetism is unavoidable on semen retention. Let me tell you what I mean when I when I say this. It, it, there, there comes a certain time in every person's life where they decide to either boss up or stay the same, either complain or boss up. And if you're if you're on semen retention, you've made the conscious decision to boss the f up, to just boss up and become a full stack man in every area of your life. There comes a certain decision that every man has to make at some point in their life, and. When you become, when you go on semen retention, which let's let's backtrack. What is semen retention? Semen retention is the act of holding your seminal fluid in your nutsack and and uh, utilizing it uh, and getting all these benefits. The benefits that will start coming with semen retention is you might get clearer eyes, your face might clear up, you might get a stronger body. You might get a deeper voice. Uh, you just might look more, a lot more attractive in general. And women are going to notice this easily. Women notice a lot of things about guys that are not really spoken. They notice this easily. And woman magnetism is unavoidable. Meaning, if you're on semen retention and you're taking care of yourself and you're becoming your quote unquote your best self on a consistent basis. What's going to happen is, woman, people are going to sense that off of you. They're going to sense that, hey, well, this guy seems very, very alpha. He seems very sure of himself. He seems very confident. He seems like he knows what he do wants and he knows what he's doing in life. And her her, her uh, mechanism is going to go off. Her, She's going to accept that from you. And she's going to say, hey, she's going to make the... the the decision that not many people are like that not many people not many men are like that are sure of themselves and are very capable of themselves so let me try to get closer to this guy maybe he'll approach me maybe I won't, he won't but what's but let's try and see what happens this is usually the the um the decision that that women make when they want to uh when they want to do be with a guy they have to make these decisions and none of these decisions are on a conscious basis they're all subconscious and they're all emotional now why is woman magnetism so unavoidable because it's in her dna it's in her it's in her charisma it's in her in, in herself to seek out the best man to procreate to recreate with and if you have the genetic the genetic uh, byproduct the biometrics to become to have the best genes to reproduce with you're gonna be the prime alpha in any social uh setting if you if your genes if your genes um complement your 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 body and it, you have certain 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 characteristics about you women are going to sense that off of you and they're going to try everything in their power to get closer to you Look, they might even try to, if you don't, if they get closer and you don't do anything, you don't, you don't sense that choosing signal. What they may even do is they might even ask you a question. They might bump into you on purpose, but make, make it look like it's an accident just so that you can talk to them and you can, you can, um, they, they can get a feel for you. Now, don't be mistaken. If you have, if you have the total package where you're 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 becoming the best version of yourself and you're improving on a daily basis you're kaizening which means continuous improvement every day what they're gonna you're gonna have to that all of that gets your foot in the door that isn't the end all be off to get the woman attraction that gets your foot in the door that opens up the door but you also have to do certain things to captivate her because a guy can be honest purpose grinding every single day but he has no why. He has no reason why he's doing any of this thing. And that is a big 
big uh, part of it too. You can do every single thing right, do every single thing right, but if you have no reason why you're doing any of this, then you're doing it in vain and it's not gonna go anywhere. There has to be a reason why you're trying to become the best version of yourself. Now, so once that, once she gives you that choosing signal and she, you are, let's say you are, you start talking to her, she's still in that, she's still in that judgment process. She's still going to see, can this guy sweep me off my feet? There can be a guy who's on his purpose hundred percent of the time, but he doesn't have the social skills and the charisma to win her over. And this is oftentimes more of the case. You can be 100% on your purpose and doing the right things every single day. But if you don't have that that core confidence and that, that voice that can, if you don't use uh, certain things to try to win her over, then it's still a no-go. You, you have to use body language techniques when you start talking to her. You have to give her that good eye contact, that smile. You have to use this thing called banter. I said this before. Banter is con content free conversation. You can talk about anything and anything, but you have to say in a joking kind of way. You just have to get, maybe you, you might even have to get under her skin a little bit. You have to make her feel certain emotions when you're around her. You might even have to make her feel goosebumps when you're around her. If you can make a woman feel goosebumps whenever you enter the building, then you have her heart. You have, you have certain things that other guys don't have because you can just you can just be a person who talks to her and and if you don't make her feel anything then it's really not going to go anywhere you have to make sure that you're making her feel certain uh emotions you have to make her feel like she you're humorous you're mysterious you're captivating you're carefree you're you're humble you're you're a go-getter you're ambitious you're you don't take no for an answer. You know what you want from life. All of these are certain characteristics that are turn on for women. Now, what a turn off is for, for girls is when you're when you're not sure of yourself, when you're not confident, when you take what she says way too seriously, when you don't pass her shit test, when you're very just submissive, beta, care too much about her. You take everything that she says seriously. If you take everything that a woman says seriously, then she is going to write you off. Most of the things girls girls say one thing, but they mean a whole certain different thing. They mean a 100% different thing. They can say they can say one thing, but they mean they may mean something different. And you as a man has to know how to do this. This is usually the difference between the man who wins and the man who's always wondering why he never gets anywhere with women. You have to pass your shit test. You have to be sure of yourself. You have to be confident. You have to have an inner knowing that you're the guy no matter what she thinks. And if you have that knowing and you have that inner knowing that no matter what happens, you're going to be okay with yourself, then by all means, you, you'll have her. You'll win her. Or if you don't, you can go on to that. You can go on to somebody else. But it all takes all it takes is confidence and knowing that you're the guy. Now, how do you intrigue her? Um, utilize good, good eye contact. Position yourself. Don't position yourself right in front of her. Maybe position yourself uh, beside her when you're talking to her. This kind of helps. You might. There might be some times where if you do talk to her, like you might be a little bit more too intimidating. It depends. It depends on the, the type of girl and the situation you're in. Utilize a, a slick smile and utilize utilize content free conversation called banter if you can win if you can if you can properly do banter and talk to her in a free state where you're so confident that you can say anything you literally can you can diss her you can say the worst thing about her but if you say it in a certain way we're joking and you don't really mean it then you can win but if you're too uptight too serious you think she's going to think of you a different way and you and you don't keep that masculine frame, then by all means, she'll write you off. How do you keep this masculine frame that we're talking about? You keep this masculine frame by, by no matter, by keeping your patience, no matter what the, the shit test is, no matter what she says about you, she may even insult you, 
but you have to keep that masculine frame and you have to make sure that you're okay with yourself 100% of the time. An example, I I was talking to a girl like a little bit earlier and she wanted me, like I was showing her something on my phone, but she wanted me to actually say it. And she said it in a very like harsh way. She said it in a very, very harsh way. And sometimes I would have been like, you know what, F this, I'm out. But I knew it, she was doing that as a shit test. She was gonna see how I, um, how I, how I responded to how she said it. And knowing, knowing this, I just kind of brushed it off and I even talked louder on purpose. I talked very loud on purpose so she could hear me. Just so she knows that I know like what this is about and I, I passed the shit test. But some guys would have been like, oh, well, she's such a dig. I hate her. But this is the difference. You have to know the certain types of shit tests uh, that she throws at you. Now, if you want to get more information on how to pass these shit tests that that woman throw at you, click on the link below. I put down a together four day video training series on how to utilize subconscious uh, body language triggers to win over the type of girl that you want in your life. Like, comment, subscribe, and show me how semen retention is changing your life. Peace.